When doing our experiment, we need to actively ask, is the procedure working as we collect our data? If the experiment is not working, we will need to troubleshoot the procedure and restart the experiment. For example, we might find that it is really difficult to produce a single drop of food mixture using a syringe. This means that we have to rethink our procedure and then redo the experiment. For example, instead of using a syringe, we might try using a medical dropper. The goal of conducting the experiment is to collect enough data to confidently determine if our hypothesis is supported or not. The next step after we finish our procedure and have collected our data is to review and analyze our data. Analyzing the data means looking at it in as many ways as we can. This includes things like calculating an average for the different trials of our experiment, making graphs, and evaluating whether or not the collected data is complete, of good enough quality, and is valid. For our popping boba experiment, we could make graphs that show how the diameter or height of our popping boba balls change with juice acidity. In graphs like these, we usually place the independent variable on the x-axis and the dependent variable on the y-axis. It is important to label your graphs and results clearly and include their measurement units. If our data is sufficient, we can then draw conclusions about whether or not our data supports our hypothesis. It is okay if our hypothesis is not supported. This happens often to scientists. Sometimes the data leads to more questions, and the process starts again with a slightly different question and a new hypothesis. The final step of the scientific method is communicating our results. This means communicating all of our data and findings in a written report, oral presentation, or in some other way so that anybody who is interested in making popping boba balls can use our information to optimize their size, shape, and deliciousness. Now that you know how the scientific method works, you are ready for your next science adventure. Remember, though, that questions in some areas of science can be more easily tested than others. Don't be afraid to modify steps of the scientific method. For example, if direct experimentation is not possible to test your hypothesis, you could use a simulation or mathematical model instead. Just keep in mind that the goal of your investigation should be to discover cause and effect relationships by asking questions, carefully gathering and examining the evidence, and seeing if all the available information can be combined into a logical answer. If you want to practice the scientific method or need more information, visit us at www.sciencebuddies.org 